everyone, welcome to Coding with Chandler and today's video is going to be on one of the touchiest topics and that is polymorphism. Polymorphism is generally one of those things that is generally harder for beginners to grasp onto and I wish that someone would have broke it down to me the way I'm going to break it down to you guys right now. So if you're interested in learning about polymorphism and how it works, what it's used for, keep watching this video. Basically, I'm just going to give you guys a simple definition of polymorphism and then give you guys some examples and show polymorphism in action so that you can see how it works and what it is used for. So basically, by definition, polymorphism is the ability of one object to take on many different forms. Or in other words, a state of having many different shapes. Before jumping headfirst into polymorphism, you must come to the realization that in order for something to be considered polymorphic, it must pass the is-a test. I have a previous video that explains that in deep detail, please check that out. In other words, polymorphism must include something called inheritance, and inheritance is actually the exact same as an is-a relationship. Inheritance is when a subclass inherits another class's properties, so when it has access to its methods and variables, but that should only happen when they have an is-a relationship. So when two objects have an is-a relationship, they are considered to be polymorphic. Now, if you want an example on an is-a relationship and if you want to compare it to an has-a relationship, check out my previous video on is-a versus has-a relationships. I show a cool example and a little code walkthrough that'll explain the difference between the two. If you don't know what it is a relationship is, then I would definitely recommend doing a little research on that first before you jump head first into what polymorphism is. Since a dog is a animal, they therefore have an is a relationship. So I am going to explain the difference between inheritance and polymorphism in a future video, but in short, inheritance is when a subclass inherits all of its parent class's properties through the keyword called extend. Now polymorphism is the changing of behaviors of a parent class and its subclass. So basically long story short, inheritance is when you are able to have access to a parent class's methods and use it, while in polymorphism the process of changing the behaviors and overriding its methods and altering things depending on what the subclass is, that's polymorphism. You're able to change things up a bit. But remember, the important thing is you must have an is-a relationship for either of these to occur. So now I'm going to show you guys a quick example of polymorphism. It's very easy and simple and it should give you guys an overall idea of how it works. Basically, like I explained earlier, polymorphism basically just shows the differences in behaviors of a parent class and its subclass. And in order for something to be polymorphic, it needs to extend from a parent class. And I'm just going to show you guys how you can basically alter methods between a parent class and a subclass, which is generally what polymorphism is. So right here we have an animal class, and I gave it a very generic method, something that can apply to all animals. So we have a parent class called animal, and I gave it a method of noise and it's supposed to return the string I make an animal noise very basic and then our dog class extends from animal and when you extend from a parent class you have access to that method so we overrided that noise method and this should return woof woof over here in this test class should be able to display how this works so basically I made an animal object that references the dog class and I called the noise method Basically, this should, instead of printing, I make an animal noise, it should print woof woof because it is referencing this dog class. And that is how polymorphism shows like the changing of behaviors between a parent class and a subclass. If you reference this dog class, you will instead be calling the noise method from the dog class rather than the animal class. So right here, I print out Yorkie.noise. We run this and it should print woof woof instead of printing I make an animal noise now if I reference the animal class it should print out the generic I make an animal noise but since we are referencing the dog class and we overrided the noise method it's gonna print out woof woof and that my friends is polymorphism in a nutshell Another thing I want to point out is that you should only extend from a parent class if they both have an is-a relationship. Anyways, I hope that this helped clear some things up. I know it's one of those topics that aren't really easy to grasp on, 
but that's basically all it is. I also really recommend that you understand inheritance, which is all basically the same thing. Like you have is a, you have inheritance, and you have polymorphism. They all fall into a similar category. In the future, we're gonna talk about abstraction and other things like that. I hope that this has helped. This is the end of my video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you wanna follow me on my social media, my Instagram is Chandler Keys. I also have a main YouTube channel called Chandler Knows Best. Feel free to check that out and subscribe. Thanks, have a nice day, and I hope that this helped.